Good evening, good evening, good evening. Byron Watson here. Day 41, take an action, evening upload. Hey, 48 days left to accomplish your 2013 goals. Auburn won the day. I am super excited. We scored 55 points in a route of the Tennessee Volunteers. War, damn eagle. Let's go get them. We're on a, on a pursuit to roast a tiger. That's Alabama-Auburn rivalry football stuff. But hey, anyway, tonight... For this evening upload, we're talking about this is going to conclude the value. My, my values is prioritized, right? And we're talking about community, right? And the thing is, my grandmother always said, charity and love begins at home and then spreads abroad. So after you're taking care of your home, what about the community that you're serving? Okay, so now as you've seen after integrity, I have family come first, then business, then community. Right. And so my, me, myself, I do have some civic obligations that I, I have served in the United States Army for over six years. And I do belong to a couple of veteran service organizations and I hold um, two really good positions and two service organizations. And one in particular um, is the American Legion. I am the commander of Paul Revere Post 622. OK. And um I was going to put on my hat, uh, my cap, to be in uniform for this video, but I'll wait. It is Veterans uh, Day weekend, um, so you'll see that on uh, Monday, the actual day. But because of my community involvement with the American Legion, a veteran service organization that, that is designed to serve veterans, the veterans' family, as well as the community they serve, gives me an opportunity to add positive value, right? And so my mission, as I've shared with you, is to add positive value to the lives of others, which includes individuals, but families, communities, as well as organizations. And community is big because if your community is thriving and doing well, guess what? Then your message, the people that you are able to help and support and serve, is right close to your home, your neighbors, and I know both of my neighbors, okay? I have Mr. Will Rogers that lives next to me and Mr. David over here. Yeah, I don't, yes, it's amazing. I have a neighbor that is named Will Rogers, okay? It is true. That is his name, but he's not the singer, all right? But it's beautiful to be able to be in your community and know your neighbor's names, okay? In this time, 2013, it's getting, a, it's getting to a point where you go in your home and you may not see your neighbors, OK, so with community, what are you doing to help your community become better? How are you adding value to the community? Right. And as the commander of the Paul Revere Post 623, I um, I am managing a seat that I've been managing it for a while. And hopefully I will. Um, I'll have some other people that I um, will take the uh, the commander seat here um, next season, next year. Um, but the thing is. We, we have um, some pillars that deal with children and youth, America, um, national security, Americanism, national defense, as well as veteran affairs and rehabilitation. These things are really important to me and the community of the American Legion, as well as the veterans of uh, foreign wars as well. These, these two veteran service organizations that I'm a part of. Um, the veterans have served... They uh, need our help. Um, not to say that other homeless people don't need help as well. Because guess what? As a veteran service organization, as an organization that is designed to serve the community, guess what? We're going to, at least if I have anything to do with it, we're going to serve both the veteran as well as the civilian that did not serve. Because in my eyes, I served the United States of America while being in the United States Army for the people that were not able to serve, that did not sign up, enlist, go to college, become an officer, they still have value as well. And in my community, I'd rather be able to help the person that's down the street. You know, thank God I don't have any in the neighborhood as that I live in right here um, that are homeless or anything like that. Um, however, we do need to be able to be cognizant and be aware of how we can add value, how we can support people that need help. And that's why community is very, very important as well. So my, my bookends is God and fa is faith and spirituality, 
and community. Everything else goes in between there, but it begins there. And with faith and spirituality, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and community. Those particular things, everything else is in the middle, right? Everything else is in the middle. Where it comes to my health, where it comes to my wife, integrity, business, and family, right? Um, family, business. So I'm going to say it in order, okay? And community. See, if the community is thriving, you're able to be a part of the fabric of the community. I think you'll really be able to rest well. You'll be aware of what's going on in the community. So you have a voice and a, and a, and a aware voice as well. Okay, so um, this concludes. It is um, this does conclude um, the the talk of prioritized values. Okay, I I am studying in my quiet time in the morning in my Bible. I am um, studying a two week two week studies on on values, and I just share with you and then open with you about how I have mine prioritized. Yours could be different, which is great. Long as you have your, long as you you have them, aware of them, and they are prioritized. It is like a football field. You have the goal lines, and then you have the sidelines. Those things will help you achieve success. Okay, and this is what we're talking about. Hopefully, I'm inspiring some people to say, "Hey, where where are my values? Are they prioritized in order to get me to where I need to be? In order to be able to 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 help my neighbors, help the community that I serve, the nation that I live." Maybe, right? So, hey, guys. Byron Watson here, also known as Coach Life Pro. Hey, take action. Decide, commit, decide, commit, succeed. Have a great day, all right? And, hey, Auburn scored 55 points today. We're, going, we're, we're, we're playing really good football, guys. Have a good evening, and I'll see you in the morning.